Hey everybody, thank you for joining. Uh, today's lesson by request is Bug. Uh, pretty cool tune. <clears throat> Not a ton to it, um, but it's one of those things where uh, Fish makes even the most simple songs really interesting all throughout. Um, so we'll dig into all that stuff here. As always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. And let's hop in. <coughs> All right, so for Bug, um, there's honestly only three chords in this song. Uh, there's a G, an F, and a C. But we're playing them much differently than we would be playing them up here. Sorry, that's Bittersweet Motel. Wrong video. All right, so F, G, and C is all we're playing here. Um, but we're definitely playing it differently. Um, so we start here with this G. So barring the 12th fret on the, the D, the G, and the B, and then I've got my uh, ring fingers going to hammer on and pull off on the 14th of the uh, G. So. so you do those pull offs twice, and then you'll hit the 12th fret of the D. You just move that shape up. So now you're barring the 10th fret. And this is your F. And then here's your C. And for the C here, we've got uh, index finger on the 8th fret of the B. Middle finger is on the 9th of the G. And ring is on the 11th of the D. And that is the C. And you come back to that G there. That is uh, your intro, and the verse is um, the same way, except for they alternate between just playing um, the chords here. So they alternate between that and So that's the uh, the verse, those the verse chords for you. So then you've got this little bridge interlude here. And this that happens twice. <clears throat> so so this is all on the uh, on the the G or sorry on the D D string here. So we're starting on the ninth fret, sorry, tenth fret. Of the of the D here, slide to the twelfth, then to the fourteenth, and back to the ten. And really, the key for this is is the timing uh, and how long you hold these notes. So you'll you'll want to listen to it to get that down. But um, it's definitely you're definitely holding it for a little bit there. Here we're going to go up to the uh, eighth, slide into the tenth. So again, start with that. So and you'll do that uh, two times. And then you have. Obviously, that's a little bit easier to do on an electric, um, but the premise, so we're on the 14th fret here of, uh, so we're, we're basically going back to our G, how we started off. Um, so we're bending up that 14th fret on the G, but bending that all the way up to the 16th fret. So you could also just slide, you know, if you're same note there, right? And 
it's just kind of coming back and resolving and again you're going to want to listen to it then you're going to hit the 15th fret of the b and you're going to go back to that uh, bending that 14th and coming back to the 12th Bending that 14th up to the 16th, then coming back down to the 14th, hitting the 15th fret of the B, bending it back up again, back to that 12th, hit the 14th on the D, and you kind of bend up that, bend up the 14th fret again, resolving on the 12th. Um, <clears throat> and you can honestly, you can play that, you can, you can mess around with that however you want to do your bends and what, whatnot, and it's going to sound great as long as you're hitting those notes. Um, so that, that also happens twice, and then from there we go into the course, so play it through real quick here. to our normal F, um, C, and G. Now, I played the barred F chord. So your C, your G. And you'll play that four times, and that's your chorus. And then after that, you'll go right back into the... So that's, uh, that's verse and chorus for the song. Then we have the um, the uh, beginning portions of the solo here. And again, for that solo, we're, we're going right back to where we started. We're starting on this G down here. All right, so all I'm done. I'm, I'm barring that 12th right there. Hitting the, um, hitting the B string first. Then the uh, G twice. Then hitting the 14th fret of the D. And then the 14th of the G. Going back to the uh, to the B string. So all we're really doing there, 15th fret of that E, then to the 12th, hammer onto the 13th, pull off back to the 12th, then going to the 12th of the B, I'm sorry, um, not 12th of the B, 15th of the B, then to the 12th of the B, Hammer back onto that 13 on the B, and then go back to the 15. And you just go walk back up, so you're going back to the 13, 12. And now we're on the 14th of the G. Hammer on on the B from the 12 to the 13. Back to the 14th on the G, resolving on the 12th of the G, which is a G. Should get you started on the solo. 
uh, and get you the, the verse in the course. Please leave any feedback, comments below. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you all again soon.